Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know, a moment to stop in our busy lives and listen to God. First, let me read from the Bible. Acts chapter 17, verses 32 to 34. When they heard Paul speak about the resurrection of the dead, some laughed in contempt, but others said, we want to hear more about this later. That ended Paul's discussion with them, but some joined him and became believers. Paul received a complete range of reactions to his speech to the Areopagus. Some laughed, others wanted to hear more, and yet others became believers. You couldn't get a more varied response than that. First of all, there were those who laughed with contempt. They found the idea of the resurrection absurd. It's never pleasant to be laughed at, but Paul knew that the Christian message will always seem ridiculous to some people. He spoke about this at length when he wrote to the church in Corinth. If you have a partner, children or colleagues who find your faith a complete joke, it's very tiring and discouraging. I pray that you will find grace and strength to cope and also Christian friends who will support you. Other people were sufficiently stimulated by Paul's message to want to hear more about him at a later date. When people first hear the Christian message, it often comes as a surprise and they don't know how to take it all on board in one go. They need time to stop and reflect. I've known some people who took decades to reflect on the good news before they finally decided to follow Jesus. We need to be very patient and continually willing to talk with people and to answer their questions and doubts. And finally, some people believed. Amongst them was Dionysius, a member of the Areopagus. How thrilled Paul must have been that one of the members of this distinguished body should have made a commitment to follow Jesus. And remember that Paul had never intended to be in Athens at all. He was merely kicking his heels for a few days while Silas and Timothy caught up with him. Paul's eagerness to share the good news of Jesus was unceasing. Let me pray with you. Lord God, help us to share your good news, whatever the reaction. Amen. Thanks for listening. I hope you have a great day and that you'll join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. 